Welcome to another Electronics on the Floor. Still on Crystal Oscillator modules, did you know that you can use them to transmit video with less than 10 components? Keep watching and find out how. There are a few things you need. One is a portable TV. Secondly, you need a camera or some sort of video source. The transmitter comprises the Crystal Oscillator module the same frequency as I used on 2 meters, 16.381 megahertz, a tuned circuit, a diode whose leads are embarrassingly long, it's just gnawed me 1 in 4148, that forms the modulator, and then coupled to its output is another tuned circuit. The video signal is applied to the cathode of the diode via these resistors. And that's all there is to it. Very crude, but it works surprisingly well. It's probably a bit clearer if I showed a circuit, so here it is. For receiving, I'm using this 12 volt operated portable TV. Pretty useless for anything else, since all the stations have gone digital. A thing that's beneficial for this experiment is that it uses a free running oscillator, so you can tune over a wide range of frequencies and tune your own signal in to optimum results. That gives you the ability to pick off the best of many harmonics that this transmitter would put out. If you're building this from scratch, you'd have these coils at right angles, because the way they are, there's likely to be mutual coupling between them. If you don't have crystal oscillator modules, a common approach is to use 27 MHz CB crystals and pick off the video on a harmonic of those. As for audio, that's possible as well, with a little bit of extra circuitry. I'll leave you to investigate that. Look below the video for links that give you some other ideas. Tuning across the VHF TV range. From our channel 5A that we used to have in Australia, that was below 144 MHz. Here you can see a signal on about 147 megahertz and there's various other things the best is higher up about 196 megahertz the picture you can see is actually not as good as what originally appears on the TV screen I've always wanted to transmit video, and this is probably the simplest way of doing it. It's crude, but as you can see, it works. Follow the links in the description below for more information on how you can get better results than this. 